Hey guys, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful weekend. It's Saturday, the 23rd of September. As I'm recording this, ignore my fan in the background. That's the fan to my laptop that sounds like it's taking off while I'm uploading this video. So, I want to share with you guys my YouTube channel. So, Christian TikTok, if you need some Christian content to watch, I'm sharing it here. Do your thing. Go like, comment, and subscribe. So, here's my YouTube channel. It's Gina Elena at Gina Elena 4831. So, this is my latest upload from four days ago, which it is an LGBTQ testimony where Jesus meets us even when we're deemed unclean. And this one is very, very, very important to me. So, I'm really hoping that the people that need to see it, God will lead them to it, which I'm hoping 22 of those people, God <laughs> led those 22 people to them. But I wanted to share it with you guys as well, because um, a lot of the times as Christians, we get called homophobic or, you know, all the horrible names for speaking out about the LGBTQ community and the things that they stand for and that as Christians we believe that that is sinful and that they're living a sinful lifestyle and honestly I understand why we get that backlash because there are a lot of people that have totally and completely ruined it that they have spread nothing but hatred and rudeness and malice and all of that and that's not what God called us for so God called us to be loving and to love one another he did not call us to be putrid and hateful and full of malice and having a bitter tongue i understand like being passionate but there's a difference between being passionate and spreading full on hatred so when i say this i want to say for the population of christians including myself that still love these any, anybody that's living in sin, not just the gays, you know, but live, loving everybody through their sin. We love the person. We do not love the sin. We do not have to agree with the sin. And I will keep saying that until I am blue in the face. We can still love the person. We can still have the love that Christ had for us, for other people. But we don't have to love the sin that they did. Jesus didn't either. If you go back and read in the Gospels, Jesus still loved those people, but he didn't just say, oh, it's okay to act like that and blah, blah, blah. No, he did not. He did not. He loved them enough to tell them that they were living in sin. He loved them enough to continue to love them. But he wants you to come to him as you are. He will make you clean. He will make you whole again. Because there are so many testimonies and people talking about how when they have been in in that type of sin or any other type of sin, whether it be sexual, you know, emotional, any anything like that, that they are, that they get a slew of other feelings like depression, anxiety, um, fearfulness, anger. I mean, all of the negative energy feelings like that gives us even more, like, it just, just starts closing. Like, that energy, instead of, like, bl like expanding like joy does, it just closes up. It makes your mind, like, close. It makes you feel so closed off. And obviously, why would we want to live through that when we can live a life free from those bondages? So, if you are somebody watching this that isn't a part of the Christian community here on TikTok and YouTube... Um, I welcome you and I welcome you with open arms and that I want you to know that I love you and not just because, you know, it's not just because I'm a loving person or anything like that. It's because Jesus called me to love you and I truly do love you. It's not that I'm just doing it because I'm told to, I'm doing it because I truly do love you, and I want you to know that come to him, no matter how unclean you feel that you are. He will make you whole, and he will make you clean again. Come to Christ. He loves you. He's been waiting on you. He's been waiting on you to come back, no matter what your sin is. I'm not just talking about the LGBTQ community. I'm talking about people who have strayed away, who have 
led people astray, who are adulterers or idolaters or people who have murdered or anything like that. He has been waiting on you. He has been silently waiting on you as you've had your back turned to him. Turn around, run to him, run into his arms. Honestly, he loves you. The sin that you have done can be washed away. He loves you.